At Grammar, the technology flame has always been burning. But with every flame, it's important that the fuel is continually being added for that flame to be effective. And this is especially true in terms of technology, both in the business and the education sector. As of next year, we start to turn the heat up in terms of the flame and with technology, in terms of the learning experience that students are going to be experiencing. In 2013, our year six, seven, and eight students will be part of an initial rollout of our well-researched, well-planned, and well-supported one-to-one digital tools program. Tonight, we will explain the why, Tonight we will explain the how of this wonderful initiative. Good evening everyone. Uh, I'm a Year 7 teacher and I teach Science, Mathematics, Humanities and PE. Uh, we're not English this year. Um, I'm really, really happy about these tablets and I've been really excited to use one for the last term and a half. When the kids get the next year, I'm seeing a totally different way of teaching. And I just want to show you a bit of a snapshot about how we have been using the tablets in class over the last few weeks. and. Um, and showing you a few of the tools that we use that make Year 7 a lot easier for the teachers, for the students and even for the parents at home. What I've got in front of you here is something called a Microsoft OneNote and this is a program that Microsoft has developed which I've found to be what I call a one-stop shop. See, what I've used OneNote for is, is basically a way of disseminating all the coursework, uh, disseminating the term plans, assessment tasks, homework tasks, uh, learning activities, all those sort of things, including PowerPoints. So if the kids have got that uh, next year with their tablet, they can access it any time, and even you can access it any time uh, if you've got that tablet in front of you. So that, uh, what we can show you here is, for instance, we're doing a unit called Forces at the moment in Year 7 Science. And what we usually do is give the kids a term plan and they paste it into their book. But what we can do now with the tablets next year is we can give that to them through OneNote and they can have it there access all the time. This has information such as textbook, uh, pages, when homework tasks are due and what the homework tasks are. And also links to, to things such as uh, remedial work. So if the kids are finding it hard to understand a certain, certain topic, they can go to these certain activities to help them out. You'll notice that at the top I've got uh, week by week. So what I plan to do next year when the kids get their tablets is that I'll give the kids two weeks in advance what the course <coughs> is going to be. And the kids can basically download that to their tablet quite easily. They can have access to any of those learning activities so they can do pre-reading. And they can, uh, they, they can get onto the PowerPoint to make sure they understand some of the content before they actually get to the class. So as an example, on this page just over here, the kids will be able to click on there and they'll be able to access two of the PowerPoints that will be covered in the first week of two and three from courses. And they'll be able to have a look at those. And for instance, if they're away on the day uh, sick, it's really important that they can access that learning material uh, without chasing it up for the teacher. So <laughs> I find it really handy that the kids can actually use that. Um, also, learning activities. For instance, I might have two learning activities for the kids to do as, as class or, or homework tasks. And what I can do is I can have those up there. One of them is in the form of a PDF document, and the other one is in the form of a normal problem solving one. And, and that goes on to how the kids are going to actually submit their work next year when they have tablets. Instead of printing out things and stapling and putting their names on and finding the right area to find the right teacher, uh, what I plan to do and some of the other teachers plan to do is develop a different one note where the students have their names up in the top tab. I know Sharon, who's going to speak after me, is going to have a slightly different plan where the, the students' names are down in the pages here. But what I, what I like about OneNote is that the kids can actually uh, complete a task list with one of these and then they can actually send it to the OneNote which has got their name on it. And what they can do is submit it that way so that the next day or even that night I can look through and I can actually see what they've done and give them immediate feedback. But the other great thing is throughout the year I can actually basically do a portfolio of the students' work throughout that year. And uh, that's great for the kids to see, it's great for me to see, it's great for you guys to see a parent teaching you as well. Uh, the other program I'd like to talk about today is something called Community Clips. So uh, you might have some questions about OneNote later, which I'll be happy to answer if I can. A uh, Community Clips is a great little program that the kids can get on their own tablets, and, and I have on mine. And what it allows kids to do is, is hear and see what's happening on the screen at that time. And uh, I'll give an example of 
in mathematics the kids were learning area just recently and um, they knew the area of a rectangle quite easily but I was going to give them the task of actually finding out how to find the area of a triangle so I've sent this little message to them and the kids can access this through their tablets Hi everybody, as I know in mathematics we're studying area of a rectangle you would know that the area equals the length multiplied by width you need to do a community clip to demonstrate how to find the area of a triangle. In your response, you need to explain what the formula is, what perpendicular means, and also how you find that in this problem. Good luck. What I like about that is the kids can replay the video over and over again. They're getting the idea about what I'm asking from. Okay, they, they understand that yes, they need to find the area of a triangle, but they also need to find those three other factors which are really important. And, and what I do like about community clips is they can also submit their work, their, their findings, their problem solving to me in the same method. I've got an example here from... Hey Mr Dunn, we think we have found the answer to your problem. To find the area of the triangle, you must use the rule space of perpendicular height divided by 6. Perpendicular height means 90 degrees from the base. According to blood mass, in this situation, you would work from left to right. Now, the thing I really liked about that is it got to show a personality, <laughs> but when I saw these girls uh, doing this task, they didn't just do it once, they did it four or five times. They were rehearsing, they were writing a script, they were practicing, and they were making errors, and then all of them was giving feedback and saying, hey, we can do this better. And now I really liked that. The kids were taking a lot more pride in their work. With our tablet um, innovation, it doesn't mean that students are going to log on at 8.30 and log off at 3 o'clock and they will be on the tablet device the entire time. That's not what we want. And there are many traditional ways of teaching and, um, and things that we want. The social aspect of schooling is so, so important. Having conversations, uh, using pen and paper, picking up and manipulating objects, all very, very important parts of learning. And if teachers don't see that technology is going to be useful in enhancing a particular learning experience, then it won't be used. In terms of our service that we are providing, Mrs Wood spoke about a, a package, a parenting package or partnership that we are developing with you. And it's not just about providing devices to students. It's about providing a service that's going to be helpful for learning, a service that's going to be helpful for parents and also teachers. And it gives me great pleasure now to introduce Mr John Spencer, who will talk about Computer Lab and their role in our service agreement. We're a total IT solutions provider. Um, and as mentioned before, we're solely focused in the education space. Um, historically, we've, um, we're quite well known for our one-to-one -one programs. And that's historically been our core business. But we do have a, uh, a large focus on support services, where we work with schools, IT departments, uh, whether it's supporting their servers, um, their network. Uh, we also do a lot of software supply across Australia. Um, professional development uh, is a large part of our, um, our offering. We've um, expanding learning horizons, as I mentioned before. Uh, that's actually a uh, part of ComputerX, so they really focus on the, uh, the PD with schools and teachers. From a one-to-one uh, -on -one perspective, um, look, we're the largest education reseller uh, in Australia for Toshiba and Fujitsu. We've got over 25 years experience uh, with assisting schools plan, uh, implement and support their version of 21st century learning and their individual one-to-one -one programs. Just to give you an idea, we actually pioneered the first one-to-one -one program uh, with a school in Victoria in, I think it was 1988, something we're very proud of. And just to give you an idea of volumes, over a two month period, typically um, it's around sort of December, January time, we deploy over 15,000 units fully, fully run up and uh, deployed across all the schools in Australia. So it's an extremely uh, busy time of the year, as you can imagine. Right? So, freedom to learn. This is, um, this is something that we essentially offer all of the students that, uh, that go to the schools that we partner with. What is freedom to learn or FTL? Um, essentially, it's anytime, anywhere learning. Um, so, as it was mentioned before, whether you're off sick, uh, whether you're at school, whether you're at home, if you've got access to a device, then you're always able to learn from that. It's not just about the device, it's also really important to have 
a reliable and robust machine, which is why we partnered with uh, Fujitsu and Toshiba. It's also around having that world-class service model behind it, because when accidents happen, <coughs> um, it's about getting that device fixed as soon as possible so the students don't miss out on any critical learning. So what makes Compute Select different? I thought I'd put this in just to try and give you a bit of background about us. We, like I said before, we only focus in education. Um, education is what we live and breathe. A lot of other resellers or other companies you know, do focus in, um, in the education space, but it's not their predominant focus, where it's our own focus. So regarding that, in relation to the actual box job, we don't just drop boxes at, um, at schools. We supply machines, fully managed, fully supported, and uh, fully customised. A lot of other resellers may um, supply 200 notebooks to the school and then go, thank you very much. But that's far from what we do. We are, we are all about partnership. As I mentioned, um, another differentiator, all, uh, all devices that turn up at the school are fully run up with all software on them. Um, whether the school has text in with personalized names, student numbers, barcodes, what will the students be getting? First of all, I'll talk about the device itself the latest Fujitsu tablet technology. So in the form of Fujitsu T732. Unfortunately, I don't have a demo with me at the moment. They're still in production. Um, I'm being told they'll be out in, uh, in about three or four weeks' time. But essentially, I do have some basic specs which I'll talk about briefly. Um, but essentially, completely future-proof. Uh, latest technology. Windows 8 ready. They will come shipped with Windows 7. However, if and when the college decides to uh, go with Windows 8, then it's got 10-point touch. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, future-proof. Nice and lightweight, all the devices these days are the fastest, lightest. Um, this is under two kilos, I think it's about 1.8 kilos to be precise. Um, and the beauty is battery life over the last few years has improved significantly. So the standard battery for finding these devices should easily last a day. So from our perspective, servicing is the most important part of a successful one-to-one -one program. Accidents do happen, as you all know. Uh, especially in the hands of children. So what we're doing is we have an on-site technician, a fully trained on-site technician here at Grammar, uh, which will ensure a quick turnaround time for any repairs. Computer have an SLA in place um, for 24 hours for a turnaround, and it's something we're very proud of. 97% of the time uh, in all instances in Australia, we're actually hitting those SLAs. It's something we're very proud of, and it's actually, I've been told, it's unrivaled um, across any corporate, retail, or education sector in Australia currently. Now, how can we do that? We actually hold over a million dollars worth of parts for uh, Fujitsu and Toshiba. It's not in my car. Um, but it's uh, all across Australia, so there's no, uh, there's no delays in any parts or anything. It really means we can, we can hit those SLAs, and 97% of the time we're doing that. What I'm trying to get across, I guess, is it's a service that you won't get anywhere else. Uh, it's tailored for the school, and our aim really is to get that device back in the hands of the student as soon as possible. Finally, before I, before I leave, uh, a bit about next steps. We're just in, um, in talks at the moment about cementing in a uh, collection date for the, for the machines. Once that's done, we'll communicate that out to, to all the parents uh, via email and SMS. We'll start setting up the, uh, the training sessions and times and dates. We'll get the parent portal up and running, and then the fun stuff um, around, I think it's January, we'll get all the machines on site at the school, fully run up with all the software on there, and uh, the collection day will, will, will occur. And uh, obviously from there, we've got all the ongoing support as well.